What up, HyperChange? So we're here testing version nine of Tesla's FSD software, uh, daytime test, already tested at night. Now I wanna see uh, what it's gonna do during the day. Urban Seattle driving, we're heading to the Ballard Supercharger, so let's see how it does. There was such a rush of emotions the first time we were testing it, and it was like 3 a.m. So I'm actually like really curious to try and get like a more scientific test during the daytime, um, not at the middle of the night. No intervention there, so. And this seems to be a recurring theme where it thinks it can get into the left lane, but it's actually just oncoming traffic. So that's something to work on for sure. Oh. It sees the traffic light way before I do. Like I could not see the traffic light, but it already sees it. How does it do that? It's like magic. Like, did you see that? It's all the, now there's the traffic light, but. Okay, this is a turn we've done on V8.2 as well. Um, that personally I've said like makes me kind of sketch it out because we have to go left and then do a really quick right. And then there's a lot of stuff going on here. So we'll see how it handles this. Pretty good so far. Wow, killing it, whoa. Okay, that was definitely not ideal. Just a little bit of help. <laughs> I don't like how cruise, see I'm trying to, that's another thing I would fix is cruise control often stays enabled when I'm in autopilot. I almost never ever, like I've never wanted cruise control to be on in my Tesla, but it always comes on somehow. And then like the car will kind of drive without me um, telling it to. So that's one thing I would change. Oh man, this is gonna be a good turn. This one is tricky. I'm pretty sure we had a disengagement here when I, with 8.2. Um, not here, but like up at this next big light, which you'll see and you'll be like, oh, of course it disengaged. Ooh, I guess it's having trouble here. Um, so there's not, no reason to stop there. Just slow down because of the sun. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. After all I was saying about the sun. Um, so it should actually be in this lane. This is the wrong lane. Get over. Am I gonna have to take over? All right, shit. All right, so I had to take over there. It just wasn't in the right lane. That's, this is, see, I knew it always, that's actually the same exact error it did last time. Like it doesn't realize it can't be in that lane, which is a super weird lane because that lane is for the U-turn. This lane is for the left, but we are making a left. So you would think we should be in the left lane. So. I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm like, can you see that? Oh yeah, see, there's the the lane thing. I was trying to... It's doing it all by itself. This is all by itself. Oh my God, I'm getting honked at. See, why is cruise control still engaged? Like I just disengaged autopilot, but that's still engaged. Oh, because it can take a right on red. Oh my god, is it going to do this? Wow, okay. 
Okay, I guess that was just me freaking out. It did it. Great job. I mean, the right on red is the best. That's the best thing I've noticed about V9. Right on reds are amazing. This is an incredible sandwich place. Gonna have to get in the left lane. Let's see if we can pull this off. I'm giving it some speed to make sure it's got it. It's got it. This guy's letting us go. Wow, no intervent. Wow, that was dope. I don't know why it's not in the lane right here. Just didn't want it blocking that lane. Ideally, you want to be in that lane, so when you come in, you can take the right when you do this move, but no one's behind us, so I think this will work. Why is it not? All right.
was pretty good. I mean, this is impossible. This is impossible to see. Like, I, I feel so... I would not be able to do... Wow. Okay. Wow. That was amazing. Okay. Damn, it does stuff like that and you're like, this thing is incredible. This is like a six way stop. Oh, people are always trying to go if, if you don't go. Wow, look at this creep mood though. Nice, okay. But is, is it gonna go or it's just creeping? Nope. All right, I gave it some juice. That was dope. That intersection's hard. I feel like on these like four way stops with no stoplight, especially like a five way stop with a bunch of weird angles, like that's where it, it really helps to be able to give it a little juice or confidence. Okay, there we go. I think that's technically a double stop sign. 